So, hello guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi Scott, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this beautiful stream, this beautiful Tuesday. Ta-da! Buenas tardes, ¿qué tal? So. Welcome, welcome. Let's do the Instagram story, right? I forgot to do that one. Hi, Emo Christian. Dark side. New nick, new nickname. <laughs> Yes, it's it's Taco Tuesday. Wow, I want some tacos too. So, story. What time is it now? It's ten fifteen. You're yeah, well, actually ten seventeen. Ten seventeen to be like more precise yeah live now Instagram story is out, out. And now we can have more tea. Oh, no, first of all, I put on the wristband, right? We're starting off slow today. Um, today, we're gonna focus on legs, but of course, of course, we're gonna do uh, abs and arms as well, right? No, no such thing as a workout without some abs and arms part. With me. Um, yes. So, and I still gotta pull my hair up because, like, this is hard to work out with my hair like this. I mean, we can do the warm up like this, but afterwards, I have to put in the hairband. Ah, nice tea. Half an hour of cardio, we're gonna get sweaty anyway. It's just gonna be half an hour, not an hour like yesterday, but um, I also had coffee already, right? Right now I'm having tea, but I did have coffee before, so. Okay. So half an hour of cardio, uh, then a lot of bells, <laughs> a lot of leg work. Um, and in between some abs and arms to like sprinkle those in. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. So let's put that aside for the moment for quick warm-up where we rotate through the wrist yeah lefty good morning he is so nice and the other way around you drink beer rotating through the elbows and the other way around up and down. Hands together behind your back. Pull them up. Move from side to side. 
Now let's swing those arms back, swing them back, 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 and back. Wipe the hands, slide down one side and then the other side of your leg with your palm. Shoulders stay down here. Ta -da. Hallo Jonas. Guten Morgen. Extend that movement with your arm. Bap. And bap. Oi. Lean forward, hands to the floor if you can, and then bend one leg and the other. Stay down here, hold a bit, feeling a nice stretch in the back of your legs. Then ah, pushing one hip up and then the other, one and the other. How's today's weather? It's hot. I think it's got to be like 35 degrees again. External hip rotation. So lift the knee up and rotate it out. And out. And you can tap it down, but you don't have to. And now internal. In. In. And in. And the other side. Out. 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 Oh, it's not stretching. I have to change the tack. In. In. <laughs> In. Let's put that tag away. Shoulders to the back, to the front. Good morning, Sasha. Come to the end of the mat. Lean forward. You can bend your legs if you want to, right? Walk out. One leg to the front into a deep lunge. Hold down a little bit to feel a nice stretch in the back leg. Turn up. Ah. Opening the chest. Nice twist in your spine. Down. Back. Other side. Down. And turn up, spine twist, off. Back down. Down dog, we align our arms with our back. We try to straighten the legs and try to bring the heels to the floor. If we don't quite get there, no problem. Walk back in. Zip. And a step tap. Hi Luca, welcome. Was steht heute so an? Ähm, 30 Minuten Cardio. Danach, meist, das meiste, was wir machen, sind heute äh, Slower Body, wie es halt auch äh, eigentlich in der Beschreibung drin steht. Slower Body, aber wir machen auch ein bisschen Arms und Apps immer zwischendurch. Äh, und ja, das ist so der Plan und danach wird gestretcht. Ja. Da, 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 da. Da. So. Before we start the cardio session, we kind of warmed up our joints by now, I hope. Martin, please drink something. I want to try, I try to, do to finish my uh, preview. And I make some pigtails because doing cardio with the hair like that is kind of dangerous because when I do stuff on the floor, I might just step on the hair <laughs> and fall over, right? Yes, there will be. It's gonna be hard. If you do everything. So, 
So I'm doing my hair. So keep moving. Just gonna put those up in pigtails here. I hope you have your hair secured too for the cardio part at least. So hair is secured. Hair is secured. So now we can do the cardio workout. I'm gonna start the timer. Oh no. The cats are here. I hope Mouse is not going to to uh, take a dump now. She might. She might. Thank you. That well. If she will, then we have to pause the workout for a second. No problem. So cardio and. There we go. Okay, the first minute, the first minute we're gonna either feel free to either duck in um, duck or march in place, right? You come flash später noch. Schauen wir mal. Jetzt erstmal cardio. So we duck in place or we march in place, right? Depending on how you feel if you're already up to some jogging then jog with me if you feel like it's too much then feel free to still just march or do a step tap or whatever don't forget to smile smile while you suffer oh look this ponytail is like this one this pigtail is higher up than the other one right Okay, next move, guys. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. First of all, we gotta get Tinky away here. Whoop. Reverse lunge. We step back into a lunge and to the front. Lunge and up. Lunge. Right? And when we do a reverse lunge, the important thing is we tack the back toe, right? I keep explaining that during these last days. It's important, like, not to do it like this, but like this. Down, up, down, and up. Two minutes of reverse lunges. And it's just 30 minutes of cardio, so the time will pass flying, I'd say. I hope we will be able to do all the exercises the way I planned them, because now that both cats are here, we always have to take care not to step on one of them. But yeah, we will like work around them. Woo! 50 seconds. Down. And down. Keep breathing. And doing those back lunges. You don't have to go all the way down. It's okay to go just halfway. Right, the important part in the cardio session is to do the move correct, like you don't have to like go, uh, being, doing it correctly doesn't mean that you have to go to the hardest level, it just means that you don't cheat, that you tuck that toe in this case, and that you keep moving because it's a cardio session, so moving is key, right? Just half an hour of moving. Three, two, one. We do mountain climbers next. So we come into a plank pose here and we do slow mountain climbers, bringing those legs close to the chest. 
This is a good ab move, a good total body move actually. Wrists are ideally underneath your shoulders, everything is engaged and if you're up to it, you could do this fast. But since we still have a lot of half, I'm doing those slow, enjoying every second of it. Whew. Yes, they are very good. They're very good for everything and they're cool. good to do fast, they're good to do slow. For the last 20 seconds maybe, let's speed it up. Let's do them fast. Run, 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 run. Almost done. Okay, so next exercise. We do a lunge. We do a lunge, right? A back lunge, it's on one side. A back lunge, and then up and oblique, right? This is the move, it's just one side. I'm going to start with my right side as a standing side and this. Back, lunge, up. You could do this more fluently, but it's okay to do this like apart. You don't have to rush anything here. We have a lot of time. We have 30 minutes for the cardio session and then we have a lot of strength work coming up. Have your chair at hand for later, not for the cardio part, but for later we're going to do split squats again on the chair. I kind of fell in love with split squats these days. <laughs> so we're definitely going to do those. A lot in between the sets for the arms. So that we keep to that we when while we're training the arms in between sets we're always working those quads and the bum <sighs> yes exactly Dankeschön, Sasha. up and down Boop. Boop. down and up 15 seconds with that move, then one minute of another move, and then we do this on the other side. Five, four, three, two, one. The next thing are jackknives. Be careful if you have cats around or we do half jackknives. So, one leg up and one leg up. If this is too much, you can bend your leg more. And if you want more, you could lift both legs up at a time, right? <sighs> and remember what was your standing leg before in the exercise? Because after this minute, or it's just like 30 seconds to go, after that we're gonna do the lunge and the oblique, uh, the standing oblique crunch or however you wanna call it, on the other side. I started with my right leg as a standing leg, so next set is going to be the left leg. That will be the standing leg. Up. Two. One. Okay. Let's come up here. Left leg of the standing leg. So, hi Sage, thank you. So, left leg down. And whoo, bend. Left leg back and bend. I'm gonna do change it to the other side. So it, I can always like when I'm bending that I can see you guys. Back, down, up. Back, down. And no need to rush anything here, right? The important thing. Uh, I feel like I've got cat hair in my eye. Well, I gotta live with that. No time to take that out now. <laughs> Up, over, back. Yeah, well, I'm sweating already because it's so hot here. I'm so sweaty, just with like moving a little bit. Man sieht, man, warum muss ich nur da nicht? 
So sieht man wieder alles. Und so kann ich euch auch sehen. Als ich auf die andere, in die andere Richtung mich gedreht habe, ist dann schwer, die Chat zu lesen. Hui! Down. And up. Yeah, guys, don't forget to like this stream. I really appreciate that. Yep. Over and back. Woo. Yes, it is. It definitely is. Woo. In, back, down. Boop. Back, down. Back, ah! Down. Boop. Down. Okay, next thing. Knee tucks, hands behind you here. And then we tuck the knees and the upper body. It's another up move on the floor. I don't usually do them a lot during the cardio parts, but I'm trying to like include those more. So that's how we do that now. Woo. And yeah, if you're working out with me right now, if you just do the cardio part and don't do the strength session afterwards, it's totally fine. This cardio workout is enough, right? It's enough a workout for one day. Um, but yeah, if you want to take it up a notch, then stay for later. Um, let's do the strength session as well. 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds to go. The next thing is going to be a burpee variation. I'm going to show you two alternatives and you can choose which one to do. Um, well, Emo Christian, this is like no reason to do drugs. The only reason to do to drugs is because you're happy and you want to have more fun, right? This is not a reason to do drugs. So put your hands on the floor, step back, step back. You can either stay up here or come onto your knees. Up and down, up again, bop, bop. This would be the easier version. If you want to do, hi Ramsey, welcome. If you want to do the harder version, down, back, push up to the front and up, right? Choose whatever you want to do. Up. So you're not allowed to get into drugs, Emo Christian, not for that just to have fun. So, don't even think about it. <clears throat> and with you, it feels like there's every day something new, terrible happening in your life. I don't know, maybe you're kind of attracting those things or you're looking for those things, it seems. Or you're lying about those things. This would be another possibility. <sighs> Up and down, back. And down. Thank you, Scott. Back. Oh yeah, this is this is real hard. Uh, Up. Whew. Back. Whew. And up. Back. Few more here. Up. Down. Last one. Up. Okay, so the next move. What is the next move? The next move is just jogging in place or marching, depending on how you feel. And make sure to stay hydrated. So drink something. Ah. Yeah. Woo. Ah. <sighs> yes, it's always good to stay hydrated, right? Ah. Run, guys. Run, 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 or march, march, march. Up to you for five, four, three, two, one. Next move, it's a squat. And then you come up, lift your leg to the side, squat, other side. Make sure not to hit your cat. 
When you squat, it's important. I'm going to show you from the side. When you squat down, it's important to have your weight in the heels. You're hinging forward. Um, back is straight. You can technically wiggle your toes while you do that, right? So that's how much your weight is in the heels. And uh, you squeeze your bum when you get up there, but you try to not lock your knees. And this is the basic of a squat, right? And you don't have to go super low. It's okay to go just halfway, especially during that cardio session. Up, 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 and down. Woo. Up, and down. And lifting this leg up to the side, also training or abductors here. Yeah, squats is really good for the bum. It's a good cardio move. It's a good almost full body move. Of course, it doesn't do much of arms, but it's like good to get warm as well. Woo! Do you try yoga? Yeah, we, we're doing yoga as well, but like this is something we do at the end of the stream when we're done with the strength workout, right? And I did yoga when I was younger. Went to some yoga classes, but I haven't, I haven't gone to any fitness classes in a long time. Woo! Balance. And down. Push through, guys. Up. And down. Down. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is jumping jacks. You could either do the low impact jumping jacks like these, right? Or you do the real jumping jack with me. Feel free to choose whatever suits you today. Oh my God, there was sweat dripping down my forehead. I could see it in, like here in the corner of my eye. Woo! Push, push, push. Woo! Up, up, up. Out, out, out. My cat's name is Tinky. It's a she. She's a girl. 24 seconds to go, guys. Woohoo! Yes, I love sweating. Makes you feel like you're doing a lot. That's why it's a cool workout in summer when you get really, really sweaty because it feels like you're working out super hard. Even if you do like slow cardio and in winter time, you're like giving it your all and you barely sweat and that's, it's not as, uh, it's not as cool. Okay. Next thing, plank and push-up. Um, alternative push-ups. You're doing push-ups, perfect. So what we're doing now, we push, do a push-up or don't, you don't have to do a push-up, and then a side plank. Important here, we always try to have a distance in between shoulders and ears, so no slouching, and then the other side. Switch sides here. Up and down, and up. And up. And up. You can do this real slow, no need to rush this, right? You want to feel every muscle work here. Push-ups is really hard, yeah. Although I find pull-ups are harder. But push-ups is a great exercise. Oof. 40 seconds to go, guys. Up and down. Up and down. Woo! 25 seconds. Do this really slow. Really enjoy every drop of sweat. Oof. 10. Woo! Ah. A few more, guys. A few more. Okay. Okay, now we come up here into Asian squat, onto our knees, untuck your toes, and up again. 
If you're not able to do this hands free, you can use your hands uh, to help yourself up. How many push ups could you do? The most I did was 43, but I don't think I could do 43 now because I'm not working on doing a lot of push ups at the moment because I really hate doing a lot of reps. It's just so annoying and boring. So at the moment, I usually just do 20 and then I'm done with it. So I prefer doing other stuff like pull ups or other reps where I can do less reps and they're harder because yeah doing those 40 push-ups was always horrible I really hated it I hated it so much so I thought well no point in doing that I'd rather do other stuff that's harder and where I have to do less reps than doing the 40 push-ups which are like so mentally draining for me okay guys we do another move where we have to do both sides so up with the knee and then we lean forward back and we try to not turn out too much here you take your time no need to rush that but stay on one leg at all times this is a balance move as well right so try to keep that balance without holding on to anything if you have to hold on to something well, that's okay too, right? If you can do it on your own, but try to. Really try. Do it super slow. No need to rush anything here. Whew! You love when I said bum? <gasps> and up. Whew! 55 seconds, guys. And remember what's your standing leg now because we're going to do one minute of another exercise and then we're going to do this on the other side, right? So my standing leg, as the last time I'm starting on the right of the standing leg. Woo! And yeah. So that we don't do one side twice. Which isn't a bad thing. If that happens once in a while, it doesn't matter. But we don't want that to happen all the time, right? Because you want to equally train both or legs. Oh man, there's so much sweat dripping down my face. Incredible. Whew. And guys, we're 20 minutes into the uh, cardio work, or 21 minutes actually. So, almost, almost, um, yeah, almost with my belly. So now, we come into down dog. Then we tap, try to tap one chin or one toe and plank and down dog with a tap of the opposite chin or opposite toe. If you don't quite get there, it doesn't matter. The important thing is to reach for it. Reach. Reach. And shoulders away from ears, strong shoulders here, right? This is an up move, but it's also a back and shoulder move. So, strong shoulders. Really press down into that mat. Uh, oof. Push. 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 Okay, other side now. Other side is gonna be harder, I tell you, because my right side is better as a standing leg, now my left side gonna be harder but yeah this is just what it is right so I have to be to do it slower and to stay focused if uh, if you struggle a lot with your balance you might want to look at one point in front of you one fixed point and just keep staring at it something that's not moving ideally for me it's kind of hard because everything in front of me is so close that it's moving so yeah, well, I just have to, to work with what I've got. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Like there's sweat running down my face, my nose, my cheekbones. I would show you, but we have a strict schedule here, so there's not much time to come close to the cam right now. <laughs> but you'll see in a sec. Because after that, we have a. Martin plays hydrating and jogging minute, so 
I can come closer to the cam and show you my sweaty face. And up. Push back, guys. Woo. And up. And up. Back. And up, guys. Oh, yeah. This is really good. This is the way to be. Whew. Oui. Up. And back. Up. And back. Okay, now, jog in place or march. And I come close. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. They're everywhere. Sweat, 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 sweat. Drop. <laughs> everywhere. Sweat, sweat, sweat. I want to sweat, sweat, sweat. I am sweating. And we can do the... Sasha probably is not here anymore, but the body roll. Body roll! A sweaty body roll. Woo! <laughs> and let's run. Ah. Woo. I hope you're sweating with me here, right? I hope you are. Next thing, I'll show you alternatives, a burpee variation again. Um, so the easy version would be down, step back, step back, tap out, tap out, back, back, up. The harder version is jumping back out in bump, right? So choose whatever version you're going for and then do it. Emu Christian suddenly is like so, so quiet. I hope we didn't like chase him off. I didn't mean to be rude or anything, right? I just mean that we have to see the positive lives, uh, the positive side of life, right? We have to embrace those as well. And not to let ourselves get eaten up by negative stuff. Life is too short for that. Bap. Up. Woo! <laughs> bap, bap, bap. Woohoo! Up. 50 seconds! You can pause up here if you have to. Right? Up to you. Oh, so many sweat drops here. On that mat again. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah. A lot of jumping here, I know. But yeah, you know, you don't have to jump. You could just do the low impact version. One more. Uh, so, twist jump or twist march now. So either twist march or you twist jump. Up to you guys. If you want to do it high impact or low impact, there's so much sweat dripping down my face. Yes, especially with these temperatures. It's crazy. Woohoo! Jump. Twist jump here. Twisting your torso into the opposite direction of your legs or twist march. This is totally fine too. No need to do anything high impact. If you feel like doing everything low impact, do it low impact. Make this your workout. You should always adjust any workout to your body and your fitness level. You cannot just copy anyone without thinking because we are all different so we have to work out differently as well down, down, down. okay guys i think this is the last exercise so what we do is now squats with a pulse so pulse pulse 
and up hold hold and up and this is the last move actually that cardio session went by flying didn't it and i'm so sweaty anyway pulse pulse and up ah how's it how are you feeling as sweaty as me did you manage to get everything done did you take breaks in between bounce bounce and up and i explained the squats before i'm going to explain them again um we hinge forward with a straight back uh weight is in the heels bum goes back and um, when we come up we squeeze our bum but we try not to lock our knees and this is basically squat ah and yeah important our knees are aligned with our toes so that we don't injure ourselves and you don't have to go super low halfway is fine or quarter down this is a cardio session so it's not about like going as low as you can it's just about keep moving 43 seconds Woo. so nice up and down up and down yes exactly let's keep that bum in perfect shape today we're gonna work the bum and the legs a lot although of course we don't we're not going to neglect the arms we're going to do arms and abs as well because i always do those because i love those but yeah definitely gonna get a good leg burn as well here and we made it half an hour of cardio guys half an hour of cardio congrats that was easy that was almost too easy was it this almost feels like it is was too easy but okay it's because yesterday we did yesterday we did one hour so so let's march in place for every for all the ones like my ponytail <laughs> for all the ones who are done and just want to do the cardio session we're going to do a quick quick stretch here so legs wide reach over to one side and to the other one and the other turn to the side both feet up flat on the floor then you bend the front leg bounce a little bit straighten the front leg and lean forward up again forward and up again with a straight back down so that you feel a pull in the front hamstring the back muscle here other side bend that front leg both feet on the floor bounce a bit straighten and down with the straight leg and with the straight back and straight leg stretching that hamstring here and down up and down here in the middle hands at your side forward with a straight back and as you can see this also this is a move that stretches the back of your legs but it's also a move that is straightening your bum so it's a good move it's called kind of good morning so show you like that and up and down right up and down up and down shake it out hands behind your back pull them up lean forward up and let's start with the uh workout part so we're gonna start with single leg squats just the squats um one side only because you're going to do a lot of leg work so if you don't know how to do pistol squats you can just do normal squats or the half ones i'm going to show you the ones that you're going to do if you don't know how to do pistol squats you're gonna have most of the weight on one leg the other leg is in front i'm going to show you from this side right and then you go down with most of the weight on that leg the other leg could be in the air not all the way and up right this is what you do when you're when you don't know how to do 
piss squats. If you do know how to do piss squats, let's do five on each side. Um, a piss squat is a squat on one leg, right? You're gonna see it if you don't know what it is. But if you don't know what it is, do the one I just showed you, or do a normal squat, because a piss squat can be challenging. You could also do negative though. Just like letting yourself down on one leg and then coming up on both legs again. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty, look at that. Buddy roll! Hi, Garrett! So, single leg squats. Sister squats. However you want to call them. Five. Five it is. Oh, Roxy! Yeah. I don't want to, but I have to. So. One. Two. Three, four, and one more. Five. Other side coming up. Yeah, well, if you. Hi, Raymond. Yeah, it's always hard to keep keep the balance with those single squats, single leg squats. Away. Hola, Eduardo. When has one second, I have to take. Check the cat. It's Gains Crow, Mouthy. Gains Crow. Gains Crow. Because I have to take care that she's using a litter box. She's She has a rebellious face where she's trying to poop next to the litter box, but I have to avoid that. Bon dia. Welcome, everyone. Other side. Sister squats. Okay, she's coming back because she she realized I'm watching her and she didn't want to. Come on, you have yes, you have to poop. Yeah, she's doing it. She's doing it. She's getting into the litter box. She's such a good kitty. Okay. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> okay, let's do the other side. This is what? Five it is. Central do Brazil. Bienvenido. Let's go, guys. Five. I'm no more procrastinating. One, two, three, four, and the last one. Is that a fight in Mouthy? Is that a fight in Mouthy? Five. It's a house mouse, yeah? Again? You wanna leave? And leave. You can't control the well. I can't control it because if I wouldn't be able to control it at all, I'd be falling down. <laughs> I I gotta I clean the cat litter box, I'll be back in a second. Um my mic might cut out now because uh, because the, I don't know why, but the bathroom walls, they are super thick. They are so thick, they don't like go the sink through the signal. So if I, if you don't hear me no more, uh, I'll be back in a sec. Just taking care of the cat poop.
So I'm back. Back, I'm back. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's hard. Well, yeah, but I'm not getting tired, but I cannot like do a lot of high impact stuff with that. So I'm back. I'm back. The cat litter box is clean again. It's crazy. Like she's just a, such a small cat and she makes like poop like a, I don't know, a middle sized dog sometimes. So <laughs> what we do now is not we're gonna uh, we need we want to do like more app work today and more but leg work but what, we do, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to do the single hand push up as well right so i'm gonna get down a little bit here um so if you don't know how to do a normal push up you stick with that and if you're not if you don't like if you're not really good at push ups stick with push ups because like a push up is a moving plank right it doesn't matter if you do the push-up on your knees or on your toes. It's always a moving plank. So the first thing you have to nail when you want to do a push-up is that plank. If you're not able to do it, just hold a plank for a while, right? Um, so either do like some normal push-ups now or try to do the single leg, the single hand push-up with me. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but um, giving my all. I've been able to do it quiet for, for a while now, but just on my right arm. So in a single hand push up. Well, legs are kind of to the side. What's up, Eva? Eva Ta bon. Ta bon. ¿Y dónde está Marcus? Ahora que hay otro brasileiro aquí. So, you're like in a side, more like, like kind of to the side when you do a single leg at single hand push up. The air arm can be here, it can be in front in case you want to catch yourself. I have it here. And then and up. Oh guys, this is so crazy hard. Oh my well, it was one, it was ugly, but it was one. Other side, I'm not gonna be able to do it on the other side. On the other side, I'm gonna do three. But I'm gonna do them assisted, so the other hand is gonna be on the floor, but there's not gonna be so much weight on it. So it's basically the same pose. But instead of having my arm here, I'm having it down here, pushing up a little bit to help that other arm. And I'm gonna do three. One. Two. Three. Whew. I'm going to try to do a full one here again. I know it's gonna be hard, but well, it doesn't matter. And then we go back to working those legs and bums. <laughs> bueno, es normal porque está muy difícil. Yo casi no lo consigo. Solamente con este brazo. Con el otro, no. Pero bueno, it's like you have to work on it. Just working on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not so necessary to do them at all times, but it's fun to learn new stuff, so that's why I'm doing that. One, two, three and now on this last set because we're going to do three sets on this side i'm going to do it assisted as well i'm not going to do a whole one as well i'm going to do the three assisted ones just to put some more weight on that arm but help myself with the other arm and get cat hair out of my mouth so assisted one, two, three, and other side. Other side. Assisted. One. Two, three, okay. 
So now, leg work. If you have a chair, grab that chair. If you don't have a chair, you can do the exercise on the floor. The split squat I'm gonna show you uh, on the floor would be like this, right? If you don't have a chair, but if you have a chair, even better, grab the chair. I really enjoy those split squats these days. And we're not gonna do many, we're gonna do 10 on each side. And then some ab work and arm work, and then again, more split squats. I can move the cam up a little bit again here. Right? So, if you have a chair, even better, or a kitchen counter or a bench, right? And then let's check what is the good, what's the good uh, difference here. Here. Okay, let's do 10 hips are square and we go down and up. One, let's squeeze that bum, squeeze both legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's small, but it's beautiful. Ah! One day I will have like a whole, like a whole hall. A whole factory. Okay. Other side, squeeze everything you got. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Garrett. So let's get this ball away. Although we can always use the ball, you know, to let go a bit of attention, like when you bounce on it. This is really nice for actually your lower back even. Bounce on the ball to let go of so oh. When I'm bouncing, my sweat is like flying <laughs> so but let's put that ball away for the moment yeah today we're going to do a lot of bum and leg stuff i really don't like working my legs and my bum so much but with you guys it's fun ah. so um now in between the sets here we're going to do dips up on those handles. If you don't have those dip handles, no problem, you can do the dips with a chair or on the floor, right? You can either do them like this, or like this. No matter how you do them, the important thing is like not to flare out, but to go back with your elbows, right? And yeah, if you have those handles, even better. If you have those, I'd say, Go for three to five or more if you do more usually. If you use the chair, go for five to 10 or even 15. And if you do it on the floor, do 15. So let's do five reps up here or more on the floor. And I don't really care what you do with your legs in that thing. You can have them straight, you can cross them. Shoulders away from ears, this is important, no slouching. Let's get up here and let's do five reps or whatever um, number of reps you're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, Boop. down again. And yeah, thank you guys for listening to the vlog. Thank you so much for being here, for supporting me watching my content don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like what you see and maybe check out my other videos too i have a lot of videos a lot of short clips so if you like them watch them leave a comment that's really good for the algorithm and i would really be thankful for that and thank you for everyone who's already doing that right thank you so much you could do 20 of those well then do 20 then do 20 instead uh let's do 10 split squats again on each side and then we do another set here, right? Everyone has to do their own workout, has to do 
their own number of reps. And one, two, three, breathe that bum, a five, a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in that motion, I have my foot up there like this. Later, we're going to do some with that, with the top of a foot up there. So everyone adjust the workout. Like if these reps are not enough for you, just do more, right? You don't have to like copy me. You can always do more or do less because we're all different and we all have a different level of fitness. And especially in, in certain exercises, one exercise is easier for us, the other not. So we always have to adjust that. Whew. Well, today's workout is mostly it has more bum in it than other workouts do but there's always a lot of abs and arms for me because i prefer working abs and arms so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and five uh Dips or more, right? Or less. Always up to you. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Shake it out, have a zip of whatever you're drinking. Today I'm drinking Aquarius. It's a isotonic drink. It's really nice. It's very, it's very, it's very famous in Spain. I don't know if they have it in Germany actually, or in the US or anywhere. It's very, it's very, it's a very Spanish thing, I think. I don't know if it's even Spanish thing, but people drink it a lot here. No. I expected that it'd be a bigger burp, burp, but there was not. Um, squats. It's not water. It's called Aquarius. It's like an isotonic drink. It's here. It's a Spanish thing. I think I don't know. I I, I know it from Spain here. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, squeeze that bum. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, yes, it will be. It will be stronger. Last set of dips. Let's do this. And one, two. Three, four, five. Oh. Woo! Yeah, this are great. It's a great exercise. And they're pretty hard, I think. I mean, there's people who do them with like with these weight things. This is really crazy. But I guess it's just getting used to it after all. It looks like it's going to work out. Yes, it's working. <laughs> it's definitely going to work out. So now we do the other kind of the other split squat where we like not on the on the chair like this, but with the, the flat of our foot like this, right? So 10 reps on each side. Let's go. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Yes, and they are nice too. They are. On this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, you keep counting. <laughs> Well, I'll do that and have a shot every time I say that you'll be you'll be terribly terribly drunk by the end of the stream Okay, so um, The next thing we're going to do is for the up, right? So if you have the pull-up bar That would be great. Uh, we're going to do toe taps Right, you're hanging here And then you bring Your toes to the bar if this is too hard you could just do knee tuck. And if you don't have a pull-up bar, you could do jackknives, right? So. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice live stream, right? It's a good thing. And you could be jack doing jackknives with both legs, or if you prefer, just one leg and then the other, right? Oh. So hot. So I'm gonna do five reps as always, three times five. Feel free to do whatever number of reps you want to do, right? Um, if you want to do more, do more. If you want to do less, do less. Oh my god, like this, such this huge sweat stain. Where I was on the map. <sighs> okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> Now, we're going to do split squat pulses in between sets. So, uh, one leg is back, the other in front. We go down and stay down there and pulse for 10 times. You cannot see it? Well, I'm sorry. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 other side and i know these seem short but since we're doing them so often and repeatedly they do work and down and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten can't you see them on the screen i can see them here I don't know, maybe you have to make it bigger. I can I can see them. Maybe maybe it's too blurry in on YouTube. I don't know, but I can see them on the screen there. So you should technically be able to see them. <sighs> okay, another five. Other toe taps or do jackknives on the floor or knee tucks here, right? Ah, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, I oh, know I'm fine. I'm still fine. Got to drink something soon, but I drank a lot already, so don't worry. Okay, let's do the pulses again, All right? And one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And really squeeze that bum while you're pulsing. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. And last set. Last set of the uh, leg lift the toe taps. <sighs> Woohoo! Better, yes, it's getting a lot of work. It's getting a lot of work. And the legs as well. Oh, wait, I still have Instagram open here, I think. Why is it still open? Ah, so, so hard. <sighs> Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Hang in here. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, and another bum session here. Yes. So, squeeze it and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Up there and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Naira! Good morning! Woo! Ah, my favorite food is, well, hard to say. I like uh, vegetables. And fruits, porridge, one of the things I like most is like, um, I like putting cilantro in my food, everything with cilantro tastes better except maybe for sweet stuff, so I like, I love watermelon, um, strawberries, pumpkin, these are really good ones, yes, uh, yeah, but and oats oats are so yummy. So now guys if you have ankle weights grab those Grab those ankle weights right Oops. And put them on ah. Wie geht's dir Nairo? Bist du auf dem Rad? Vielleicht hier mal radeln. My ankle weights are one kilogram each. It's roughly 2.2 pounds and I'm gonna put all of them on so it's gonna be two kilograms for each leg, um, roughly 4.4 .4 pounds each leg, so a total of four kilograms, and uh, that's 8.8 .8 pounds. Oh, yeah, oats are really good. I'm such a big oats fan. Ah. I eat them just pure sometimes without anything because oats is so it's so good <sighs> so you know what's coming right you know what's coming guys when i put on those ankle weights it's either bum work or it's pull up it's pull ups now well bum work too but we start with pull up so um when we do pull ups i don't really care if you do white grip pull ups if you do the normal ones the neutral grip, the chin up grip. The important thing when doing pull ups is to go all the way up and all the way down, right? This is what we're like aiming here, aiming for. Um, yeah, this is what we're aiming for. So, I'm trying to do five. I don't know if I'll be able to because yesterday was my fasting day. I didn't eat anything yesterday. This morning, I just had a a coffee with uh, milk so this is all I had in 
over I don't know 24 hours in like almost like 35 hours so let's see how much ATP there is in those muscles to get me up there for five times with these ankle weights maybe not maybe we're not gonna make five maybe we're just gonna make four but it doesn't matter we're gonna try I'm doing these these are my favorite and yeah that's it that's it that's all I'm gonna say hit those hit the power tower if you have one if you don't have Jay good morning if you don't have a power tower you could do down dog push-ups by the way coming into a down dog position here and down and up here right this is an alternative that you can do when you don't have a power tower Ta -da! okay he gets you Jay Here's the tool. Okay. Up, up, and let's go. Let's go. Four, five. Or oh, how many you want to do. If you cannot do five, do less. If you can do way more, do more, right? It's your workout. One, two, three. Four. And last one. Five. Woo! Nice. Viel Arbeit heute. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna take a super quick break, right? And go to the bathroom. If you have to go to the bathroom, do that now. This is the ideal moment because I'll be in the bathroom. You're not gonna miss anything or get yourself something to drink. And I'll be back in a sec. Back in a sec. Back, back, back. But I'm gonna run an ad break because I won't be here. We're still with the pull ups, and we have to do some booty work in between. But uh, since I had a break now that I went to the bathroom, we're gonna do another set of pull ups. Uh, we're gonna do four though, just four, right? We did five, now we do four, or if you did ten, then you do nine, which is like one or two less than you did 
In the sat that we did before, right? Let's do this, guys. One, two, three, four, Now, uh, in between sets, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do some more pull-ups in a sec, but of course we gotta do some uh, bum work in between, right? Uh, it's not gonna be much, we're gonna do more in a sec, but just so you already get the idea, you come here on the chair, hands on the chair, or you could be have your hands on the kitchen counter or even on a wall or somewhere, you could do that even just standing, right? Then you don't have such a big range of motion. But hands on the chair, back is straight, and then we lift the leg up and down, up and down for 10 times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's stay out there and pulse it for 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. And you can have a micro band in the standing leg, by the way. I forgot to mention that. One, two, hips are square. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's stay up there and pause it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down, up, Woo. Well, I'm trying to do a lot of glute work on stream because I don't do that in my like time when I'm not streaming because I, I'm not a fan of that. Let's try that Fortnite dance again. One day I'm getting it right. So it's, um, it's going. I'm Viner, I'm Viner, na 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 No, that's not quite it. One day I will. When it's like super old. Okay. Um. Again. So, it, it's two times this. I'm Viner, I'm Viner. Da, da, da. Then I don't know how it's like, I think it's like, ah, it's like this, then it's going like this, and then it's kind of like, I don't know if it's like the whole circle and out, or if it's just to the side. I want to learn that one, so it's... I might it, I might it, you need me for surviving, na 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 Something like that. Give me one or two more weeks and I'll nail it, right? Okay, pull-ups, just three now. Just three, three pull-ups. So this is piece of cake, right? Three is a piece of cake, guys. If it's not, then just do one or do a half C or just do a negative. One. Two, three. Da -da -da. So, booty work, bum work. One more set of three pull-ups, and then we're done with the pull-ups. 
And we're basically done with like most of the arms work for today. I mean, you know, we always do some arms work somehow, but like the hard stuff is done. Um, what we do now? What do you do? You don't think you could do three? Well, at least maybe, at least not with the ankle weights, right? I do have four additional kilograms here hanging from my feet. So, um, onto the chair. We bend the leg and up and down. One, like a donkey kick, a standing donkey kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's stay out there and pulse it. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. And up and down. Foot is flexed, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Whew. Well, it's not sore. The exercises are not long enough for me, my booty to be sore. But tomorrow I will feel that, I guess. <sighs> tomorrow. Because the since we're like taking breaks all the time. Okay, guys. The last set of pull-ups, right? One more set of pull-ups and then we're done with abs. Uh, not with abs, not with arms. Three pull-ups. Okay. One. Two. And last one. Three. Nice. Nice. Whew. Okay. So, we still have some app work to do with the power tower, but we're very close to getting onto the floor. Um, let's do some more split squat pulses, but this time with a toe tuck. So, foot gets up here, right? Down and pulse. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Hi, Deepika. Welcome. And up here. Squeeze the bum and down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And up. Whew. What do we do now? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Ugh. So, I forgot to change the camera. It should be changed. Like that. It is. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, the next thing we gotta do, um, the next thing we do is um, some leg work and ab work. So if you don't have um, a bar to hang from, uh, you could do this on the floor. You could do the knee tucks we did uh, on our floor. On the floor here, right? So hands behind. And then you do those, right? Totally legit way to train those abs. Right? And if you feel like it, if you have a bar, we do we do knee tucks on the bar. Right? I'm just gonna open the window a 
bit more. So I can annoy the neighbors more, you know. No. I'm no, just kidding. So if some air gets in. Let's do 10 reps, three times 10. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Woo! Pulses. Split squat pulses. I know it's kind of repetitive, but they're very effective. Yes, it is covered in sweat. So, down here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up again. After we're done, two more sets for that. Uh, then we're going to get onto the mat, guys, by the way, right? Onto the mat. So, are you here? Hola Ricardo, welcome, thank you. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One more side of that with that. Last exercise with the chair. Right, we come onto a chair here, into a plank pose, and then we lift one leg up and pulse it up for ten times. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there is a lot of sweat. So sweaty. So sweaty. There is so much. So much, right? I don't know, like, I don't know if the camera gets it, but like everywhere. Sweat everywhere. And a body roll. Woo. Body roll, body roll, body roll, body roll. One more set with those apps. Thank you. Hang in there, guys. And let's do those 10. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to move the cam down. Um, first of all, I'm going to put the ball. I don't know what we can do at the last thing here before we move the cam down. If you have a ball, Let's get rid of all the tension in our back for a moment. So we come onto the ball 
like that, right? It's also a thing you can do on the floor. Um, well, the, not the bouncing. This is something you cannot do on the floor. Let me bounce a little bit here to let go of all the tension. We can roll back and forth, right? Dance with the ball. These days, the ball is not the best prop because I'm so sweaty. Whew. And back. And what we can do actually, here's a good bum workout well, as well. When you have your pelvis on the mat, on the mat, on the ball, or on the mat, you can do that lying on your belly as well. And then pull up here. Up with those legs. And this is a good exercise for a bum and for a lower back. Up. And down, up and down. 10, 9, 8, 5, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And up again. Nowadays, the ball is a bit, it's a, when I'm very sweaty, but like now, the ball is a bit annoying because I keep sliding on the ball. Oh well. So now, we, I'm going to change the camera pose. I'm going to run an ad break. You're not going to miss anything because I won't be in the cam. So don't worry. And then I'll meet you on the floor. Maybe get something to drink, take a bathroom break, and we'll be back in a minute. Maybe you don't even get an outbreak because you just had one, right? It's always, it's not, not everyone gets one all time, all time. Gonna quick. Vale, yeah. Gracias, Pepe. Y nos vemos. Vale, perfecto. Y nos, nos vemos esos días. Que tengas una buena fiesta hoy por la noche. Y muchas gracias por tu apoyo, como siempre. Eres una gran ayuda. Bye bye. Okay. So guys, now we're back in business here. Back in business. Pinky, I need the towel. I'm so sorry, but I need the towel you're lying on. Okay. Oh, it's to cumple. Ah, vale. Así que, así que feliz, feliz cumpleaños. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. And I don't know how to say that in. The rest. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Guys, it's Pep's birthday. Say happy birthday. We didn't know that. You, you, you kept that from us or I forgot. I probably forgot. I'm such a bad, I'm such a bad person. Ay, que, que ojalá que te dan muchos presentes y uh, sí, que tengas una... Que tengas una, una noche increíble. Your wrist is kind of in weeks. I didn't know that. No, no lo sabía. Ahora me siento un poquito mal por hacerte trabajar. We should have called this stream. It's Pep's birthday. So. Guys, what we do now, more like and bum 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 work. So, um, we're gonna start with um, inner thigh. 
So I'm going to put on the timer. We need the timer. We need the timer. The 60 second timer. And I'm going to cue you in. So uh, we're going to do three minutes on each side, I'd say. We start here <clears throat> on that side. You come down here, right? You can come down all the way. You can be up here. Important shoulders away from ears, right? No slouching. This leg is behind. You can be up on your tippy toe here or down. Up to you. Other leg is straight. Inner thigh is facing the ceiling. So, yes. And no slouching. Three minutes. I'm going to tell you what to do. And when we, once we start, again, like no slouching. So stay up here. Engage those lower abs. When you notice that you're slouching a lot, I would rather want you to come down here and be down here instead of like having your shoulders too close to your ears. Okay. And now let's just, let's just pulse that leg up, right? Pulse it up there. Inner thigh facing the ceiling. Foot is flexed. And up and down. And we've been working out for about 90 minutes, guys. So thumbs up for that. We didn't do these inner thigh workouts for a while. So let's see how those feel. And you don't need the ankle weights, of course, right? I'm using ankle weights here, but you can do these without the ankle weights. And still gonna be a good burn. Up, up, up. Don't put the leg down. It's just for three minutes, right? The leg is going to be up in the air for three minutes and then we're going to do the other side. I didn't even see the Minions movie actually. Up, up, up. No slouch, you remind yourself. There's got to be space in between your shoulders and your ears. Oh my, my, my inner thigh is burning. Okay, now in and push away. In and push. In and push, push and push. No slouching, remember, push, push. This is also a little bit of abs here, right? Not much, but there's some cool core work to that. Yeah, and don't forget to check out my link tree, guys. If you're interested in any of my other social media profiles, I have a lot. Out. And now, 10 more seconds and then the last minute on that side. Hi, Natalie. Okay, two, one. The next thing is just like front and back to the front. And back. Front. And back. Whew. And you can have your hand here so you don't fall over if you have to. But actually, yeah, you can do it with that hand whatever you want. You can have it here. You could be curling some, doing some arms work here as well. Oh my, I do feel my inner thigh. How about you guys? Do you feel that inner thigh? I hope you do. To the front. And back, 25 seconds to go. Then one minute of rest and then we hit the other side. Whew. Back. And up. Whew. Oh yes, guys. If your leg is shaking, that's a good sign. Mine is. Let it shake. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now, 50 seconds of break, of rest. Let's come on to the other side. Same thing here. If you ever feel like you're slouching, you can come all the way down, right? No shame in that. Um, or stay up here, elbow underneath the shoulder. Shoulder away from ears. This foot, the back foot, you can be on your flat foot, you can be up on your tippy toe, right? Inner thigh facing 
the ceiling. And thank you everyone for your support, for following, for working out with me and leaving a comment, maybe liking the stream, maybe liking my other videos, right? I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Foot is flexed and we pulse up here. This leg, other leg now, three minutes up in the air, right? So that we feel a nice burn in the inner thighs, inner thighs facing up. Teeny tiny pulses, doesn't have to be much. And you can have that arm down here, 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 wherever you are. Do some swan or whatever moves with the arm. It's a weird coordination. When I do that, I feel like I'm I'm like kind of fucking up the uh, the pulses there. Twenty seconds to go, and then we do these kicks or the pushbacks. It's not actually a kick. It's like more like pushing something heavy away. Yeah, and thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Right? Thank you so much. Feel free to say hi. Don't be shy. In and out, in and out. Every comment, every text message, every chat message is great because it helps the algorithm and that helps me. So thank you so much. And if you just send a waving emoji, that's fine too. And if you don't want to send anything at all, that's also fine. I appreciate you just watching. Just watching, just being here helps a lot. In and out, guys. In and out. Imagine you're pushing like a heavy box away. Away with that heavy box. Away. And it's always coming back. I don't know why, but push it away again. And again. 15 seconds. And then we're gonna do this thing where we slide to the front. Ah, oh, Pinky. The little cat is here. You cannot see her, but she's here. You're here. You're so beautiful. Okay. Sliding to the front and back. Last minute. Well, actually, last minute and 10 seconds because we did that 10 second hold at the end. Up. Push. Ooh. Up. Up. Ooh. Out. Out. Oh, yeah. That feels so good, right? And my leg is starting to shake here. Woohoo! Shakey shake. Good, good, good. That's what we want. A good leg shake, a good burn. So we know that what we're doing is actually effective. This is so hard. Inner thigh usually is easier. Well, haven't done that in a while, so that's why I'm suffering here, I guess. Okay, to the front and hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh! What's up next, you're asking? Thank you, please. So, we don't have much time. I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do. Um, with the donkey kicks so you can do the donkey kicks up here if you like right you can do them down here um, up to you what uh, what you prefer um, I'm gonna cue you in important either elbows underneath shoulders or wrist underneath shoulders and I want you to have um, to have a straight back and don't twist your hips we start now, straight leg, up and down, up and down. Squeeze that glutes when you're up there and do it nice and controlled. Three minutes on each side, up and down. Try not to turn out, at least not too much. Everything is engaged. Of course, the main uh, work is done by the glutes, by the legs but you could also be feeling that a little bit in your shoulders. No slouching here as well, right? Try to maintain a rather straight back. Don't forget to breathe. And up and down. Up and down. Up 
and there. Push. Push. Up. And up. Whew. Okay, now in and push back. In and push, right? Just like we kind of did with the uh, other workout on the floor, we can do that here as well. In and out. In and out. Go, guys. In and out. Push and in. So, up, up, up. Now that tap is not here, I have to have that stream on. In and out, guys. Not much more, 10 seconds. And then we do the last move on that side and then we switch to the other side. Okay, on the next one, straight leg again and pulse up. Darling, hi, how you doing? Welcome. I hope you have a great day so far. But it's early for you, no? <laughs> it is. Up, up. 45 seconds to go, guys, and my bum is on fire. Oh, thank you. Oh, nobody can see you, but you're here. Well, people can see parts of you. Up, up, up. 30 seconds. Up, up, up. Push, guys, push. Ah. Uh. Woo! 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. And guys, you can come into child's pose for a moment to let go of all the tension. And we have one minute of rest before we do all of that on the other side. See you on the other side. How long, how long? You're so cute. If you're thirsty, hydrate. Yes. I don't have to drink right now. I'm going to drink after that. Adjust your clothing if you have to, though. And then 20 seconds and we'll be... Oh, Tink is joining us now. You're joining us. Yes, you're so cute. Okay, you ready? Oh, God. Oh, gosh. I have so much cat hair now. <laughs> okay. Other side. Are you ready? It doesn't matter if you're ready or not. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. <laughs> Hips are square. Hip bones parallel to the floor, that is. And we lift that leg up. It's straight. The foot is pointed. Up and down, up and down. 30 more seconds, and then we do the pushback. Ah. Don't forget to breathe. After that, I'm going to stop the timer, so don't worry. After that, we have a quick breather before we do more fun stuff. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, in and push back, in and push, in and push. Don't twist your hips, guys. Shoulders away from ears. Foot is flexed now. In and out. And if you feel like this is hurting your wrist, you can always come down onto your elbows. In. And out. 30 seconds to go with that move, then one minute of pulsing, and then we're done with the donkey kick. In and out. And out. And out. 
How did that feel, guys? I hope you're working here with me. If it's too hard, you can always take out the ankle weight. Or if you're not using ankle weight up at all, so just take quick breaks. Do it uh, slower. Okay. Um, leg straight, point the foot and pulse it up. And it's totally normal to feel that more in the um, standing leg, or in the, it's not standing, in the supporting leg. Because the supporting leg is doing a lot of work, right? It's uh, stabilizing us, it's supporting us, especially if you're not turning out. Then it's doing a lot of work keeping those hips square while the other leg is just lifting the weight up. So uh, yeah, totally normal to feel that a lot in that glute as well. Push through guys, 25 seconds. 25 and anyway, it's late already. So we're getting closer and closer to the stretching part. Ain't that nice, huh? And 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Nice. Okay. Away with a timer. Away with a timer. Then I'm checking for cat hair in my face. I have a lot, I guess. Well, moderately. Up. <laughs> Let's take off the anchor weight. Ya, yeah, creo que ya se ha ido. Para preparar la fiesta. So, ah, on karaoke, yeah, it's a good song. You're simply the best, dun, dun, dun. better than all the rest, better than anyone. Head hair in my mouth. Okay, cat hair away. Let's drink something. Let's drink something. Thank you. So, did you go to some karaoke place, darling, or? Ah. Okay. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of um, back work, right? Because I always feel like we're neglecting that too much. Um, or I did neglect that for a while, but I won't let that happen again. So, I'm coming here on my belly, right? On my belly. And then I'm going to lift both legs off the floor and pull them up. Ooh. And yeah, this is what we're going to do. Pull them up. It doesn't have to be high. If you're very flexible, you might get them higher up. If not, not. Doesn't matter. Think about that mind-body connection where you lift that those legs up with the strength of your bum, but also with your lower back. Very important to train a lower back. Right. Ah, okay. You want to feed them from the bar. Nice. And let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And down. Hi, Kyla. Welcome. Yeah, she's, she's in heat. That's why she's like, she's even like weirder than she usually is. You're going to, to, to nibble my, my arm here? We sometimes do that. Oh, she looks aggressive. She has like this like, aggressive look to her. Okay, arms to the side. Uh, rest your forehead on the mat. Arms up to the sides and pull them up. 
and my voice might sound weird now because my mouth is so close to the mic and there's the mat and everything but yeah i'm sorry for that hold up here i know this is not a super hard exercise but it's good for all the small muscles in your back and it's good to train those to avoid uh, getting back pain and it's good for your posture and yeah hold Oh, Tinky, you're so cute. Let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> you're biting me. She's biting me. I could say pompas also in Spanish, pompas. I, I don't know, in Sp I've never heard anyone in Spain saying that. I think, I don't know if it's a Mexican thing or, or a Sp some Hispanic thing to say pompas. Is there anyone here like from native, the native Spanish speaker? Because like I've heard that in a lot of like workout, workout videos but never in a Spanish video, always in like a Mexican video or South American or something and they pompas. Pompas, which is a super cute word as well, isn't it? Pompas. I love it. I like it a lot. Okay. Let's move those legs again. Up. Pulsing. Up, up, up. Woo. Up, up, up. Pulsing. Pulsing. Trying to chain those glutes and also the lower back. And we stay for 10 counts. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. We do the arms again here. Up. Forehead is resting on the mat and we're just pulsing those arms up. Doesn't have to be a big range of motion, just a teeny tiny pulse. And yeah, the longer you do that, the harder it gets, obviously. We're not going to do it super long, just to wake up those little muscles. To let them know that they're there, that they have to work to. Let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Hold it at your highest point. And let go. And hands underneath your shoulders. Let's press up into Cobra Pose. Shoulders out down and away from our ears. We're looking up. Let's compensate, getting into a child's pose here. Ah, feel all the tension, like leads your lower back, how everything is ah, releasing. So good. So, now. We still have, we don't have so much time left, but what we're going to do, because I'm such a big fan of side planks to going uh, without any makeup, yes, because I'm like, I'm like too lazy to put on makeup because like you can like look really amazing with makeup as well, but it's just so much work putting it on and taking it off and it's also bad for your skin. So like why wear it? Like why waste time on that? Alabaster, guten Abend, wollte ich gerade sagen, guten Tag, guten Tag. Um, let's do a side plank. Let's hold a side plank for one minute on each side. So in a side plank, um, your elbow is underneath your shoulder, shoulder away from ears. And then you could like hold it here on your knees or you could hold it here on your feet. Doesn't really matter wherever you want to. We're going to hold it for one minute. Let's go into it. And here we are. Shoulders away from ears. Chest is open. 
This arm could be up here, could be here, could be over your head. Wherever you feel it is, yeah. Wherever it feels good for you. Skincare. I don't use skincare for a lot of. I do like. I put on sunscreen, and I do have some. Like I don't have even. I don't have even like special facial cream or something. I just use Nivea cream if I need something. Or just normal body lotion. I'm a, I'm a barbarian, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Mauti is fertig with your workout. You want to show the rest of your past? Yeah. Mauti had only few gemacht. She was very faul today. Mauti had that today rest day. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, she had more hydrate gemacht than all the other. Have you done any rock climbing? Well, when I see some place where I can climb, I usually just fly like climbing anywhere. So, but not professionally, not no. But I, when I'm outdoors, I like I see something that I can climb. I usually like kind of go for it. Obviously, not too high to not like fall down and break something. Other side, guys. One minute. Let's go. Hold it. And one side might feel harder than the other, totally normal. Um, to the side. Twenty seconds in. Well, a bit more actually. Almost halfway. Almost halfway. The hard way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, most people, depending on where where you are, most people should use sunscreen. Even if you don't get a sunburn easily, it's also like good to use sunscreen to prevent cancer and everything, right? Because we don't want to stress our skin too much. Three, two, one, down. I have to let Pinky out one second. Goodbye, Tinky. Goodbye. Do we watch any sports on TV now? I don't like watching sports. I like doing sports. I mean, I do sometimes. What I do sometimes do is I I don't watch on on uh, on on TV, but I do like. Seeing um, aerial silks or pole dance competitions on YouTube to like uh, like to get inspiration, but yeah, I'm not into like any sports. I rather do sports than watch other people do sports. So next thing we got to do, have to turn this hard door here. Yeah. Leider, yeah. Wer weiß, man weiß halt nicht, nicht, ob sie wiederkommt. Aber Maus, sie hat übrigens ins Klo gemacht, ja. Sie ist hingegangen und sie hat ins Klo gemacht. Ich bin alle stolz auf Mauti. Mauti hat super gut heute. So, you can have your hands either here or at your side. And then we're gonna do some glute bridges here. So up and down, right? Up and down. And at the moment, we just go all the way up and all the way down. If you wanted this to be, this to be harder, you could put some weights on your pelvis here. And glute bridges. Um, are pretty good for a bum. That's what they call glute bridges, but they also go for a back. And the strong glutes are also something that like holds the back up. So plus plus, win win. Yeah, that must be on all fälle, on all fälle. The ordinance for lunch would heute Abend stattfinden. Ja. Heute Abend wird Mausi der Orden verliehen für ins Klo kacken. Ah. And down. Now let's leave those arms up here and pulse. Stay up there and pulse. Teeny tiny pulses here. Up, up, up. And if you already feel a burn, well, if you did all the other workouts, 
with all the other stuff with me that's totally numb because we've been working out for a long time and we've been working those bum cheeks. Oh. Let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. And the next thing we're gonna do is single leg glute bridges. Um, what I want you to do when you do single leg glute bridges is like try not to turn out, right? So don't like do like this. This is not it, right? This is not what we want. Um, we want you lift one leg up and go straight up. Um, if you're a beginner, you might want to cross your legs one on over the other. It's easier, but I still don't want you like to turn your hips. I want you to have your hips square, hip bones parallel to the floor, up and down, right? You're gonna do 10 reps. So either have your leg up here or have it pressed up to you. And then hands by your side, so over your head, doesn't really matter. Are you ready? Well, it doesn't matter if you are, we're gonna do them now. <laughs> One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay up there. And ten. Straight leg up and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and down. And we have the other side, but we whew, gotta do a quick break, like to regain some strength, right? Regain some strength. Oh, thank you for the super chat, darling. <laughs> darling, starling, darling. Oh, that rhymes. Mercadona. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. So. Thank you so much, darling. Potato. I'm a flying potato. This is like my my tag or my what I put like in 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 TikTok I say I'm a flying potato okay other side we either cross those legs or we don't right and we do 10 reps and then 10 reps of this straight legs up and down let's do this guys no turning out here try to keep those hips square I rather want you to go not that do not go that high but have your hips square so four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up there, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and down Hi. let's do a figure four stretch here so cross one leg over the other and then either yeah i i just said darling yeah why but it rhymes darling i'm sorry i didn't mean to offend you pull in It's the first time that it comes to my mind that those two, that your name rhymes with that. Pull in, other side. <laughs> other side. Okay, guys, we're almost at the stretching part. Almost, 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 almost. Um, you gotta do 
we got to do some more app work, right? Some more app work. Therefore, I'm going to put the cam up a little bit. Just a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit. Okay, this works for me. Like that. Just like that. Okay. So, um, oblique work it is. So, we come here. We come up here onto our knees, right into that kneeling position. Right. And then one foot goes to the side. Arms up here, out here to the side. And then we lean over and down here, right? We don't lean forward. It's just a, it's a side movement. And we go up and down for 10 times. And then we pulse it down there for 10 times. So. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. On the next one, let's stay down there and pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up. Other side. Whew. Out. Up. You ready? That. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and let's stay down there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Ah. I am, I am hard to probably, so I'm very surprised that you haven't yet. Right? Yes, it's, uh, I'm almost terrified that you haven't yet, right? Why haven't you yet? Circle those wrists, and uh, I think, I think, I think we're done, aren't we? Is there one more? I was thinking, is there one more move we wanted to do, right? Something important that we were missing? Oh yes, one th one more thing. One last thing. I'm um, gonna move the cam down again. Right. And this. One last thing before we stretch. Um, the kind of push-ups I really hate. The wide grip push-ups. We're gonna do those, right? Um, just ten. I hate them, but I have to do them because I hate them. So, let's come into that position where we're like, have our hands apart in a white grip, push up. Uh, let's do 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... We are done. We're gonna stretch now, guys. We're gonna stretch. So I'm gonna change the music. So we get some nice, relaxing stretching music. And then we're gonna stretch. Still music is on. Where's my water? So, 
getting that light a bit closer here. Okay, we can put the towel away for the moment. Move it now. Up. And yeah, we're gonna start in a tabletop position, doing some cat cow. So when we do the cat, uh, the cow, we inhale, we arch our back, we look up. And when we exhale, we make a round back and shift into the cat. And you can shift in between poses here at your pace. If you're not always like inhaling and exhaling according to the pose, it doesn't matter, right? It's, it's your workout. Make it yours. Enjoy it. But did I say rotate? I mean, like, sway, whatever, move, transition from pose to pose. One last time, the cat, let's hold it. Really pulling up there, as if someone would be pulling up our spine. Come into child's pose from here. Let go of all the tension. Take off your breath. And next thing we're gonna do is stretching the top of our feet. So we'll come back into the tabletop position. And we press up on the tops of our feet and you have to see if that's working for you, how much that is working. Maybe you feel crampy here that you don't go any further. You might want to go down again. If you don't get crampy here, you can take it up a notch and walk in closer. So you're pretty close here. Bouncing a bit. And up. And now we're in a forward fold. And in that forward fold, we sway from side to side. Enjoy that. You could cross your elbows through your hands over your elbows. Oh. Man. Walk out. What's your height? Uh, one meter and seventy-two cent. Uh, one meter and seventy-two centimeters. One seventy-two. From here, let's come to down dog. Right, a down dog is a pose where you try to align your back with your arms. You try to straighten those legs, right, if you can, and to bring those heels to the floor. Ideally, if you don't quite get there, no problem. If you do this pose every other day, eventually you will get there. And something that I, I think I haven't said that in a while, but it's also very important. Um, you have a good mat. mat. If your mat is very slippery or it's like uh, too stretchy or something, then this is going to be way harder than it has to be. Because if your mat is sticky and it's, where it's holding up good, then this pose becomes way easier because you yeah, you just stick in that pose and you're not sliding out, you're not sliding away. And yeah, so I would recommend everyone who's trying to learn these things, who's doing these things more often to get a proper mat, right? It's a good investment. Hi, Walter. Welcome. Yeah, stretching is good for the back. And this stretch is good for our shoulders as well. So from here, Shift to the front, lift one foot off the mat, right? And bring it in between your hands into that pigeon pose. If you're a beginner, you're here, right? If you're a beginner, you're here. 
If you're more advanced, you're closer to the floor. Press your palms into the floor, look up. Enjoying that pose. From here, let's come into our alternative pigeon pose or the yin yang yawning face pose that we like to call it lately, where we move that leg to the front so that we have a 90 degree angle, ideally a 90 degree angle here at that knee, right? And we try to Hold it as well. It's harder. It might be super hard in the beginning, but it's gonna get easier with each time you try that. It's a really good hip opener. Maybe you can even come all the way down. Maybe not. Up to you. For me, this feels really good. If you're still out there, don't worry. We all have a different level of flexibility. And up. Foot back in here. Grab that back foot with the same arm, if you can. And hold it here. Feeling a nice stretch in your shoulder. And now try to bring that foot as close as you can towards your bum. Let go. Back up into the down dog. Stay here for a moment before we're gonna do the other side. So come to the front, lift the other leg off the floor, bring it in between your arms. And again, you might be up here if you're a beginner. If you're more flexible, then you're further down. First of all, you're in this regular pigeon pose. Really enjoy that feeling. In your outer thigh and the outer thigh of the front leg. Then pull that leg out here, the front leg out into a 90 degree angle into the yin yang yawning pose, yawning, yin yang yawning face pose. What's the worst yoga pose you ever tried to perform? I don't know. I actually don't know. What's, what's supposed to mean like the worst? I don't even know what you mean by that. Uh, let's come down here. If we can, right, come down here, enjoy that. <sighs> Up again, bring that foot in again, right, move it in. And if you can, with the same arm, grab that back foot, hold it, feel a nice stretch in your shoulder, in your back a little bit, in your leg, everywhere. And hold it for a moment. Then push down here, try to bring that heel as close to the bum as you can. Let go. The yin yang pose takes a lifetime to master. Oh, yes. Come back up here. And down. And let me just quickly check. Good morning, Paralyze. Welcome. If I have a cat hair in my eye, because it feels like I do have. And since I stuck my, stuck my face into Tinky earlier today, 
there is a well, okay so um i saw an interesting an interesting balance post that i forgot how to do that again i think it was somehow you somehow had your legs crossed like that and then buenas marques que tal you had your legs they had their legs crossed like that and like that they got up on here i think oh i don't know ah hi ojo kin then you might want to check out my uh link tree because there's a lot of pictures so let's do the insect pose for everyone who's uh, good at yoga. But this is just like, a, this is nothing that you have to do. I'm just doing that for fun. For fun. To do some balance pose here. okay so that was just for fun so what we're going to do now is the pro pose so we come onto our backs onto our backs like this right um and up up with these feet right and then we try to roll over here and bring our feet or toes to the floor. If we don't quite get there, that doesn't matter. Press those palms into the floor and push up here. Push up and over. If you're stuck here, this is fine. If you do this every other day, at some point you're gonna get lower down and at some point you'll be able to get those feet or those toes on the floor. All right, it's just the toes. Then we're here and move gently from side side oh yes if it feels bad to move like that don't do it of, of, of course right you should always adjust every workout to your body and to what it feels like for me this feels really nice really nice back stretch when i move from side to side here but some people you know i find that not i find that uncomfy and yeah if you're one of those people don't do it you cannot do that pose you're no problem if you train Every other day, but some day you get there if you want to. Yet stay in the middle, bend those legs. You can even bring those arms to the front here. Mm. And again, sway from side to side with the hips. Let's roll back. Thank you. Yes, the tattoos are really nice. I love them. They're still work in progress. Hi, Patrick. Um, this one is still work in progress. You can see this one is still. Uh, it's not. It doesn't have color, so it's getting done in. Uh, I hope I finish it in September. It's a mermaid, but it's supposed to be like a demon mermaid, so it will take some. She doesn't look so so devilish at the moment but you will and this one see that it's a it's a fox it's a fox and a flower the another flower and the kitsuna mask so when you get severed chalio i don't know what that means even what is that is that a is that is that the uh, is that like a uh, some cramps oh, okay when you get cramps in the back of your legs so first of all it's very important if you get a lot of cramps to hydrate well and to have like enough minerals because that's when we get cramps and then like to do i would i would recommend you like to talk to a physician of course because i'm not a physician 
but like when I get cramps, I try to like uh, drink some isotonic drinks so that I can like uh, resupply my mineral needs and then just like soft stretching. And if I have cramps in my, I have cramps in my calves sometimes when I wake up at night and then I just move my foot like that and then it's getting better. But I don't know if that would apply in your case. We'll always have to find our own way because we're all different. But yeah, in the best case, uh, or you just talk, talk to your physician if it's getting really bad because they know the best or they should know. They should know, no, not they don't always know. Or physiotherapists, usually physiotherapists are a good, good, a good uh, choice to ask. So, um, let's come, let's flip this over, and then, yeah, to prevent, yeah, exactly, this is always a good thing. So now, let's do a deep lunge, and if you're a beginner, you might be here, right, which is totally fine. If you're more advanced, you might be able to get closer to the floor, so wherever you're at, that's fine. Wake you up out of deep sleep, okay. Yeah, well, I do have that sometimes, too, that I have, like, I get cramps in my calves at night. Well, I haven't had them for a long time, but there's times when I have them more frequently, and then I'm trying, like, to drink more isotonic drinks, like, to resupply my mineral needs. And, yeah. It's always, it's always a pain in the ass when you get cramps. Hold down. Come on to your elbows, if you can, if you don't, if you cannot, that's no problem, you can stay, the, stay up there, right, you don't have to be so low. And now let's move from side to side here a bit. Oh, we can take off the wristband, actually. I don't need it no more. Because we're done with the workout part, right? And it's just annoying with stretching. And now let's try to roll that back leg towards the floor as close as we can. But this is very advanced, so if you're not there, if you're still up there in a normal deep lunge, totally, totally fine, right? Don't push yourself too hard, stretching takes time. And up again, let's switch sides here. This side to the front. And again, if you're a beginner, you might be somewhere here. And the more you stretch, the deeper you get, the more you can open those hips. And then maybe you're here. And never forget to stretch both sides equally. It's uh, You will always have one side that's more flexible than the other. Like, we're not going to be like equally flexible on both sides ever um, but that's like no excuse to not train both sides because it's not going to get any better if we just train one side right now if you can come onto those elbows and stay here for a moment moving from side to side like we did on the first side and then maybe try to bring turn a bit to the side and try to bring that back like to the floor oh. holding it for a moment or two <laughs> And let's come back up. Let's do a puppy pose to stretch the shoulders for a moment. So, bum is up there, Sh uh, chest goes down. Stay here for a moment. So nice. Into the child's pose. Mm. 
And if you have trouble staying in child's pose, you could put a, a pillow here underneath your bum. And then it's easier to stay there, right? In case you like have trouble holding that position. So, we're gonna stretch our legs more, but let's do, let's do a quick back stretch. Let's do a quick back stretch here. Right, so we come into the tabletop position. Right. Hand up, opposite foot, grab it and pull up. Holding that for a moment. Now this side. Whew. Up. Oi. Ah. And switch sides again. This is also a good balance exercise, right? Not just a stretching exercise. Down. Tuck those toes, tuck those toes, and let's come up into a down dog again. This time we try to paddle it out, so we lift one heel off the floor and then the other. Stretching those calls. Nazi, welcome back. Nazi's back in business. She's drinking. Come into a wider stance here. Try to push those heels into the floor if you can. And up on your tippy toes and back to the floor or as close to the floor as you can get them. Up. Yeah. And up. up. And to the floor. Now we're going to do uh, some shoulder and posture exercises, right? So uh, what we do here, um, we gra grab through with this arm until we're down on the floor, right? But I'm going to start with the other side so that you can see what else I'm doing. So we push through. Oh, Marty. Shoulder on the floor, like that. Then up, arm close to our ear. And we turn up and we turn down again. And when we're all the way down, and we grab through, hands on the floor, up, up, right? This might feel weird, but it's a good exercise for posture. Up, down, one more, and then we do the other side. Oop, up. Down and through. Ah. And up. Bum, 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 bum. So, other side, we grab through. Down. Up. Turn up. Down. And through. Up. Oh, Melty. You want fresh water, I know. I'm going to give you some fresh water in a sec. One more. Up. Up. And down. And up. So, I'm going to get some fresh water for Melty. And I'm going to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to play an ad break. I'll be right back. Don't worry. Uh, Malti will be here entertaining you as well as I'm done. Uh, okay.
Are you talking to people? Yeah? Did she talk to you guys? She took over the mic. She's such a good host. Yes. Such a good host, cat. I just realized. Hi, right, Rudolph. Welcome. I just realized it's Cap's birthday today. I'm, I'm wondering now, did he tell us before that it was his birthday? Because like, today, Whoopi, today is the 27th of June, Whoopi, my brother's birthday as well. And now, now I'm thinking about if we talked about that already, and if I said that I could remember it because of that, and then I forgot. I'm, I'm feeling bad now for not remembering Pep's birthday in case he told me before. But now, because I was thinking just now, I have to remember his birthday for next year. How can I remember it? Do I have to write it down? But actually, I don't, because like the 27th of June is already a date that I know. Um, it's so beautiful. Okay, guys, let's keep on stretching here. We don't want to annoy Mousy too much, so we come into a white stance here, right? into wide stance like that and then we lean forward bringing our hands to the floor or close to our cat and then we stroke our cat cat gently okay. and then we admire her beauty so beautiful and it is la gata más linda de todo el universo Okay, um, one hand in the middle, the other one is up, and we're turning up here. Other side. And down, bending one leg and then the other. Bend and bend. Come further down. Maybe closer to your beautiful cat. You can kiss her. But be, be, be careful because she might just slap you in the face real hard with her claws. Right, you do that. Yes, you do. Okay, um, now next thing, we come down here. Oh, sorry. We come down here. You, if you have to hold yourself up or down with your hands, that's okay, right? Um, 
If you can do it hands free, even better. Knee up and down, we come up again, and we move towards the other side. Down here, up and down. Try not to annoy your cat too much while doing that. This is the really good hip mobility move. And I'm trying not to annoy her too much. And back into the middle. Bending one leg and the other. Playing with those hips. Down. Maybe you can even bring your Head to the floor and grab those ankles. And back up again. Okay. Let's take back the mat as long as we can, <laughs> right? Because Malti might take the mat away from us again. So. Let's come to Cobra Pose. So we come onto a belly first. Arms underneath our shoulders. We press up into the Cobra. Shoulders away from ears. We look up. And then we bend both legs. And look up again to intensify the back stretch here. As you can see, my back flexibility is almost non-existent. But that's no problem. It's your favorite yoga pose, okay? I think mine is down dog, or maybe, or maybe, uh, I don't know. And down, down. Now let's come into a swings pose here, where our elbows are underneath our shoulders. Right, then we push that pelvis into the floor the warrior pose yeah i don't do that very often this is standing pose right over here call you a crab who called me a crab i didn't i i i, I, I did read that i guess so and palms Press into the floor here and then we push up into like a variation of the cobra pose, right? Where our pelvis is staying closer to the floor actually, or on the floor. Up. When you go up and down here, because you're going to go up and down here, make sure to press inwards with those elbows so they don't like flare out and you don't hurt them. Yeah. And up. Oh, Mousy wants to leave. I have to open the door for her. One second, guys. Ah. I'll let you out, don't worry. Indeed. She left us. Let's come back into the swings pose. I feel like I'm a, a goyaba, or maybe, maybe a, maybe a presa. Push up and down. I like the Portuguese word for fresa much more than the Spanish word. It's in Portuguese. It's uh, I don't know if it's in Portuguese, Portuguese like that, but in. Uh, in Brazil, it's the morango. I think morango clings so much nicer than fresa. Morango. It, actually, actually, also in Catalan, it's not morango, it's madusha, which also sounds nicer than fresa, I think. It's so funny that fruits, like all over the world in Spanish, um, even have different names if they're in other, other countries. Fresa in, I don't know, is it Uruguay? It's called frutilla in, or not fresa? It's cute too, frutilla. 
a little fruit. It's a little fruit. Let's stay up here now. Shoulders this away from ears. Look up. And let's come down for a moment. Mercadona, Mercadona. Thanks on Super Chat, darling. Thank you, Mercadona, Mercadona. Let's listen to the emoji poetry. Potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, recycling symbol, recycling symbol, tomato. Potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, recycling symbol, recycling symbol, tomato. This is very deep, Starling. This is very deep, right? Really, like, makes me question my life in a philosophical way. <gasps> Let's uh, bend one leg. Grab the foot. With both hands. And pull up here. Down. Other side. Oh, this is very uncomfortable. <laughs> and other side. Down. Now one foot in each hand. Thank you again. Thank you. Mercadona. Mercadona. And up. Hold it. And down. Let's come into child pose. Because we did stretch our backs there, and then it's always nice to like compensate. Hmm. Hmm. Up again. Up again. Up, 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 up again. Um, we come into the lunge again, and we'll grab our back foot. So, leg to the front, into that deep lunge as deep as you can get. Maybe you're just here, maybe you can come further down. This all depends on your level of flexibility, and then grab that back foot, if you can. Uh, pull it towards you. Ah, you had a good mentor. Well, I learned a lot of stuff just by myself, I think. I mean, I'm going to a pole dance and aerial silk studio, but like not a lot of stretching and yoga. There's something I do myself and I used a lot of YouTube videos and everything. Ah, okay. Because it could be to potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato. Yeah, what is it? Why does it do that? Why does it say potato like an American and tomato like a British? It's weird, right? Let's switch sides. Potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato. And down. Did you guys know that the word for tomato comes from um, from Mexico, like from and the uh, how is it called the Aztec language? With tomato, I think. Thank you. Just like chocolate as well. Chocolate, the word chocolate, it comes from the Aztec, 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 how it's called. How did, how did you, uh, how do you even?
I don't even know what's that in Aztec. Yeah, I think Aztec. Not Aztec. So, um, what we do now is we're gonna try to get into the splits, right? Therefore, if you have yoga blocks, I would uh, recommend you to grab your yoga blocks. Mm. Actually, no, not yet. I have the chair here. Let's do the chair stretches first. If you have a chair, grab the chair. And then we stretch with the chair real quick and then we do the split. So, stretching with the chair. We go back here. We put one foot on top, like that, and then we lean forward, right? If you have a chair, if you don't have a chair, you could do this on the floor as well, right? This foot could just be on the floor, or yeah, you could use something else, but a chair would be nice. Uh, hold down here, feeling a nice stretch in the back of that leg before we grab those yoga blocks, because this is a very effective way of stretching. That's why I like it. Come as close as you can. If you're up here or up here, this is fine too, right? No need to push yourself too hard. But if you can come closer to the leg, come closer. Then turn the leg in, turn down here, right to this side. Like this, so that you also feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh here. And then you can Come down, hold the chair so it doesn't slide away to feel a stretch in your back, in your inner thigh, and in your uh, hamstring. And back up again. Leg stretches are really good, yes. And let's do the other side. Whew. side same thing here maybe you're up here maybe you're down Ooh. wherever you're at it's okay really feel that nice pull in your leg Come down here, turn that leg in, the other one down, and breathe your nice stretch in the hamstring, in the inner thigh, and then you can come down here, ah, intensify the stretch. Don't forget to hold onto the chair so it doesn't slide away. And up again. The people that have taken up sobriety are going to live a clean more or less. It just seems longer. Huh. Really? Well, it always depends. Like, if you're not happy with your life, then it's not the right choice, obviously. If you just do something because you think it's right, if you think it should be the right thing, but you're not actually convinced, then obviously you're not going to live longer. But we saw, like, I saw this, like, post that people who read actually live longer. I read a lot, so I'll, like, I'll live forever. Okay, now let's bring one other leg up here, the other leg up here, and then pull towards it. Maybe you're back here, right? Maybe you're back here, which is totally fine too, no problem. But if you can, pull in, like, to open up those hips. Scratch your nose if you have to. This feels so good. Ah, I love it. 
Yeah, it's so nice. Like this stretch just feels really good. It's really nice. Uh, this side, let's see if the other side feels as nice as the first one. So maybe you're here. Oh, maybe you're up here. I'm sorry, my head is cut off. Okay, yeah. Shoulder stretch as long as you have the chair here. So hands up here, thumb up and down. Yes, those stretches are beautiful to do and also to look at. Now a shoulder stretch, maybe you can even bring your head to the floor. Thumb up, hands stay up there. And we feel a nice pull in those shoulders. Again, what time is it now? Um, almost half, half past one in the afternoon. So now, now we're going to do, or now we're going to try to get into the split. So now it's time for your yoga block, right? Grab those yoga blocks. Actually, this mat is not the best for splitting, but we're just going to make it work. Um, it's easier to do splits while using yoga blocks because then you can prop yourself up on the yoga blocks and get down more easily without twisting your hips. If you don't have yoga blocks, you could use thick books. You can do everything without yoga blocks, of course. But as I said, like with yoga blocks, it's, it's easier. I'm going to put a towel underneath my front foot so I can slide out easier. And then we come, first of all, we start out in a half split here and then we slide down, right? To open up. And if you don't get all the way down on the first try or not at all today, no problem, right? This is something that takes time and you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you like injure yourself by like, I don't know, ripping or ripping a tendon, well, that's not going to help because then you won't be able to train for a long time and it's going to take even longer. So take your time bit by bit. Flexibility takes time. And other side. Other side. I have something in my hair here and I have to rip it out. It was hair in my hair. Okay, let's slide out front foot. Try not to twist your hips, at least not too much. And point feet and down. That feels good. And up again. What? There's the green. But like, this is not my real hair, right? Like my real hair is like this long, just maybe. And 
I had other braids in. I had violet braids and blue braids before. And my normal hair color is like a light brown. Like this on top of here is my normal hair color. So now let's do this split for um, one minute. I just got to check here. I wanted to put on the timer, then I answered a message, and then I threw the cell phone away. So, we gotta hold that split for one minute, or wherever you're at. Maybe we're not gonna be all the way down, but that's no problem, right? No need to push yourselves too hard. I'm gonna start the timer now. And we're gonna slide out here. Maybe we can get rid of the yoga blocks pretty fast. Coming to the front on one side to open up those hips further. And then back into the middle. Really nice stretch in those legs. Really straight in those legs, point the feet. And we're done. One minute. Ah. Yep. And let's. Oh, that's so nice. But well, I rather don't be bald. <laughs> but lately, it's a thing. Like, there's more women like shaving their head, right? These days. But yeah, I like hair. I have very little hair on my own. So these are like, that's why I like using the braids because then I have long hair and a lot of hair. It's really cool. I've never had that in my life before, before I discovered braids. But yeah, I like hair a lot because, because I always had so little hair. This was always one of the things I didn't have, hair. Which comes in handy, like for like, but like I don't have to shave so much, like my legs are not very hairy or anything. <laughs> but then my head isn't either. And then I'm always jealous when I see like all the Spanish girls, like a lot of Spanish girls, they have like this really, this really, a ah, lot of hair, a lot of hair. <laughs> but well, everyone has different qualities, right? <laughs> so, other side. We start. And slide up. And out. And then we can maybe let's go over there. Uh, yoga blocks come to one to the front, bound your wrist. And come back to the middle. Oh, we're almost down. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Ah. ah, you're so nice. Let go. One minute on both sides. Now a quick over split stretch and then we're done with the side split. Like a soccer goalie, I think. Why? 
like a soccer goalie, like you mean, you mean the guy that's in the goal while playing soccer? Thank you. Yeah, doing the splits is great, but actually doing the splits is something very achievable, right? Uh, many people don't think it's possible, but like just doing basic splits, like not a lot of overspitting maybe, but basic splits is something a lot of people who want to could actually achieve if they train every day. Because my flexibility, I mean, yeah, I'm flexible, yes, but it's an achievable flexibility. Hi, Solo, welcome. Glad you came anyway. Yeah, it's the heat. It's the heat. Like in the morning, I mean, I love the heat. I love it. Like I'm enjoying that so much that um, when I wake up, I wake up and I'm like, I'm feeling tired. I don't feel like all oh, getting up. So, over splitting. So now we put one leg on the yoga block. The other yoga block is here to like support us a bit. And then slide that out. Well, I'm glad you made it. I mean, for the last half an hour, but better than nothing, right? And we don't even need the yoga block. Yes. Yes, it's going. It's going good. We're on a good way. We're going to go past. We're growing constantly. That was hard, guys. Hard, hard, hard. But good. Hard is good. Is, what is the heat we're at as well? No. Well, for some people it is. I can check. It's. I mean, here, in here it's even hotter, I guess, than it's out there. But let's check what the... What the chair, what the temperatures tell us here in the beautiful Mallorca. It's not so much, it's like 33 degrees only. 33. It's it could be 35. I mean in here I think it is. But I like that, you know, I'm a sick person like that. I'm like enjoying that. Like when the temperatures are like above 30 degrees, it's beautiful. I mean, 40 is maybe too much, but between 30 and 35, I'm just sweating. I'm just like sweat is just running down my body without me doing a lot. This is just, this is the life. This is the life. So, over splitting on the other side. Again, I have cat hair in my eyes, I think. What? There was a carrot in tail? Where? I didn't read her. Ah, I have something in my eye. There it is, the cat. I have it. Do I? Well, never mind. I never understand those people. Like, why do they care? They should not. They should just enjoy themselves. One second, I gotta put some droplets into my eyes because this was there was cat hair in there like this is like the only downside when i'm so sweaty 
that the cat hair is sticking to my face and then getting into my eyes. So, but nothing that can be like taken care of. I have inspired you to leave your wife, but why would you leave your wife? Why would you do that? Okay. Good morning, Brian. Welcome. So we leave the we have the uh angle the ankle weights. We leave those here. We might need them. Okay. Where's my water here? I don't know. I don't try to inspire people to leave their wives. I try to inspire them to do sports. So maybe instead of leaving your wife or be inspired to do that, you should be inspired like to do to work out with your wife and then the both of you <laughs> the both of you, yeah, I know. The both of you can come can become that flexible. Yes, I get that. I understand that. Anyway, up and up i mean anyway like if you're patrick harris like if like like isn't neil patrick harris doesn't he does he have like he has a husband anyway so you, you, as, as patrick harris you probably you cannot leave your wife you could probably just leave your husband anyway <laughs> if your name comes from that <laughs> so let's straddle here guys point those feet point those feet and if you have to, have your hands behind and push to the front, right? Or is it is it it's your actual name and it's not like not from Neil Patrick Harris? Because when I read your name, I was thinking, oh, Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> yeah, so it's from him, right? So push to the front, and if you can, come to the front with your uh, with your back straight, then you can be here. Up and down. And maybe you can come all the way down. Maybe not. Also, like in that move, when you're like already a bit more flexible and come can, can come to the front with a straight back, you cannot fill your back here. Um, you can have this yoga block here and Rest your upper body on the yoga block, right? This will make it easier. Or another thing you could do, if you're not, if you have trouble with flexibility, you could put that yoga block underneath your bum, and then it's easier to come to the front with a straight back, right? This is also a possibility. So. Now. And up and down and up and now let's play a little spine for a moment. Up, up, up. A thousand times a day. I say that a lot. I say that a lot. Sometimes I say booty. Sometimes I say bum. Put those legs up on the yoga block. Point. They are still pointed. And we do the same thing here if you have yoga blocks. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You could do it without. Maybe you still have your hands behind you, pulling to the front, pushing to the front, right? Or you can be in front. But this is also like with the yoga blocks underneath your heels, it's an advanced move. So if you're not that advanced, you maybe don't want to do that. Stay here in the middle. We're lean to one side and to the other. 
you know the drill probably you don't have to go super low you can go a bit lower each time but you don't have to no need to ever push yourself too hard we've been working out for quite a while guys so just enjoy this Let's stay on this side. Ah, uh, this side. And let's come to the middle again. Maybe we can come all the way down here. Oh, yes. And up again. Let's put those yoga blocks away for, I don't know, a moment, maybe longer. Now we try to grab those heels, or maybe you can just grab your feet and lift them up or grab the heels and lift your legs up here straight. Maybe you can just do one at a time, one at a time, or you can do both. Holding that. And in. Butterfly pose. Heels together. Hands around those uh, feet. Proud chest. If your legs are up here, that's totally normal. If you do this more often, your legs will come closer to the floor. And then move them up and down. Straight back here. Yes, I am. Gonna straddle again. Now without the yoga blocks, it's gonna be easier than before. And maybe you're a beginner, then you're still here, right? Pushing to the front, push, 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 pushing to the front, bum up, hip down. Or if you're more advanced, you're all the way down in the pancake. Please stay here for a moment. You must run. Okay, then see you next time. And yeah, thank you in advance for the tip. <laughs> but yeah, watching, liking the stream, watching the content and uh, writing in chat is already a lot. So thank you so much for that and have a great day. Ah, you have to go too, Brian? Okay. Then or did you say bye to the Patrick? Hands to the side. Let's stay here. Enjoy that. Oh. Wow, this feels so good. I just enjoy that right now. Oh, it's opening my hips. I hope you can hear me. I hope the mic's not cutting out. I could fall asleep like that and imagine falling asleep like that and then you wake up and then you cannot close your legs no more because you're like so stretched. Ah, uh, up. Yes. 
Yeah, so do a split in between two chairs, right? That's something people do, like the Van Damme pose. This is a really cool pose. I wonder if I could, I mean, I, may, I might be able to hold that for a few milliseconds. Yeah, don't fall asleep. Like in that stretch, imagine. And then you wake up and you cannot, like, then your legs will, like, be, like, 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 pudding. Jelly. Like, now they're already very jellyish. Let's move them from side to side. That we do some easy stretches, then some other, some harder stuff again. So, come onto your back. Right, legs up here. And then to the side. Uh, uh, feeling a nice twist in your spine. So good. Other side. Yes, like don't feel one down, right? We gotta do that. One day we gotta try that. Have two chairs here and try that. I mean, we could try that. Even we could try that now. Should I get another chair? Should I get another chair? And we try that. Let's do that. I feel like trying that. One second, guys. We need another chair. We need another chair. I'll be back in a sec. I want to try that. I'm back. Um. <laughs> well, this has to be further apart, right? So guys, this is going to go terrible. <laughs> okay, we're going to need the yoga block. Um, hey, Sai, please write in English, Spanish or German so we can understand you. I'm probably not being able to do that, guys. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be. <laughs> no way I can let go here. No way I can let go. No, no. Okay, well, this is the furthest we get for today. If I let go, I will just rip my my tendon. But well, this is a start. And how am I going to get down here? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, guys. We tried that. That was fun.
Okay. So. Yeah. Well, I know what I did. I did, uh, I did use the yoga vlogs. So, always fun. Always something new. We might work, try to work around that more. So let's do releasing a really nice flow pose again. Ah. Right. If you're not here, if you don't get all the way over, no problem that you can be there. <sighs> yes. This is a lot of fun. Bend the leg. Like from side to side for a moment. You cannot do that. Yeah, well, we can we have all different abilities. One side to the other. Now, leg up here, circle it, and the other way around. I'm coming. Uh, this side. Uh. And so go the other way around. Now grab one leg and pull it towards you. And maybe if you're not that flexible, you're here, which is fine too. Right? We all have a different level of flexibility and therefore these stretches will look different on us. Pulling. If you can, grab the heel. Uh, out to the side. Ah. Like that. And other side. Maybe you're here. Or you can grab it further, pull it further towards you. A leg. Grab the heel and down. Oof. <laughs> Let go. Come up again. in a comfy position one leg is in front of the other and then we come forward and we've until we feel a nice stretch in the bum and in the outer thigh of the leg that's in front let's change height Now let's do a quad stretch. Um, we bend that leg. The other leg is straight. Well, here, if you feel a quad stretch here already, then you don't have to go any further down. 
If you don't, come onto your elbow. Make sure that the knee is not lifting off the floor, right? It should stay down there like this. And if you can, you could even come all the way down as long as you don't lift the knee, right? The knee stays on the floor there. <laughs> then come slowly up again. Let's do it tight. Again, if this is enough up here, if you feel enough of a stretch in that quad, you can stay up here. If it's not enough, not enough, then onto your elbows. And if you feel that you need to stretch it further, then come all the way down. Hmm. And back up. We don't need the yoga blocks no more, so I will put them aside now. This stream is almost over anyway. I'm sorry for that, guys. Yeah, it's always good to hang out with me and do workouts. I'm a big improvement to anyone's life. So, let's come onto her back and we do the happy baby pose. Where we bring those legs up here and then we grab the outside of the feet and pull them down. And maybe you're here or wherever. Maybe you can open up wider like this, right? Up to you. Your level of flexibility. The key point is here to grab those feet with your hands. And everyone should be able to do that, like more or less everything. You roll from side to side. Enjoying that. If this hurts your back, then you need a thicker mat. <laughs> if you want something more, you could grab your heels and straighten those legs. Pushing out, pulling them down, feeling a nice stretch in your hamstrings again. The back muscles up here. Pull, pull, pull. And in. Come up here. Leg straight. I've I've even done. <laughs> Legs over, cross the other arm here. Push, push, and we turn to the back. Nice spine twist. Good. Now this side. Uh. Sit in a comfy pose. And look from left to right. And now up and down. Don't be afraid to borrow. Chord progressions, sounds, little ditties, tiny things. Just ears to shoulders. Now circle. 
head circles, but don't circle too much. Don't circle all the way, just circle a bit, right? Gently, the other way around. And that's one of the reasons why I can turn. Shoulders. The other way around. Or borrowing something that I heard. Lean over to one side. You don't have to come down all the way like this. You can be up here. And I used to. Other side. I was not original, not creative. But I, I quickly found out that I am not original or creative. I can't make up. Good morning, Mile. Hi, Richard. Now, intertwine those hands behind your back. And I very much doubt Thank you. Lean forward. Lean forward. Move those um, arms from side to side. Side to side. Let's stay here for a second. Well, a bit longer than a second, actually. This kind of modified child pose. Seeing this little package. And then up again. We're gonna stretch the tops of our feet again. We did that at the beginning, but we're gonna do that again now. So here, push up on the tops of our feet and maybe you can just come here or maybe you can go further back to intensify that bending your knees a bit bouncing a little bit up and down and guys this was it for today or beautiful dream i hope thank you thank you I hope you did like it. See you tomorrow again. Same time, same place. Um, darling. <laughs> Thank you, Mile. Darling, darling. It just rhymes. It's just nice. Uh, merci. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching, for enjoying this. I hope... Um, I'll be. Um, I moved the the mirror when I did the when I tried to do the Van Damme thing. Um, I hope I'll be seeing you tomorrow um, or maybe later on Twitch because there's gonna be a Twitch stream this evening. Thank you so much. You're the best, and uh, thank you for everything for watching. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to check out my videos, and um, yeah, thanks for your support. Fins de ma. See you tomorrow, tomorrow.